It's a beautiful day, everybody. What's up? Good morning. I was just thinking about this uh, last night, a little bit this morning. I woke up at 4 a.m., couldn't get back to sleep, and I was stressing about my job. Um, so for everybody who doesn't know, I do cybersecurity sales. That's just my, about my job, my house, not, you know, not filling up with furniture enough, not, you know, putting it all together. And I was thinking, damn, man, I was like, what is, what is so stressful? What is so stressful about this? You know, it, it, like the job pays, the job pays well. I have a supportive company, great product, an amazing group of friends, phenomenal girlfriend. And... I live in a, you know, in a society where, in the United States, in a society where everything is just really well organized. And in uh, the thought I had, I wanted to share with y'all, and let me know if this is something ever you felt, what you think about this. Um, I realized that a big factor of stress, a big thing, a big factor of my stress was the rules that I self-imposed, that I self-imposed. I put rules on myself about how fast I need to perform my job or how much I need to get done or or not, not even <clears throat> how much I think I need to get done or how much I want to, how much I feel like I should get done or how much I feel like someone in my position should get done or how many sales I feel like someone in my position after three months should have made. So or how, you know, how good I, of a writer I think I should be after how much practice I have, which is not much, so. <laughs> or, you know, how much furniture should be in my house, how put together my house should be, or how much I should save, you know, when I'm getting this furniture. Should I, instead of just buying it, you know, overstock.com or like Amazon or uh, Ikea or some, something like that, you know, I should be renting a truck, <clears throat> and, you know, like U-Haul or something, and I, and I should be going and picking up, you know, for good furniture for cheap on Facebook Marketplace or something like that, like, but these are rules, these aren't, these are rules made by me, for me, and they're always outside of my grasp. They're always based on what I can do the, the rules I make for myself are based on what I have done successfully and then I go that's not enough so the rule is so you know so, so say I'm getting 50 dials done a day calling people <clears throat> and I book you know a meeting or two a week well I'll go well someone in my position should probably be booking one meeting should, should, should be booking at least one meeting a day at this point. And I should be doing 100 calls. And so the, these rules that I'm putting on myself, oh, and my house, it should have more chairs. It shouldn't have, I mean, certainly the amount of chairs that I currently have is, is far fewer than is allowable. I must, I must have more chairs for, for more people, which is preposterous. Or, oh God, I don't have a headboard for my bed, my God someone who's had a house this long should have a headboard Jesus Christ Rena what are you doing man what are you doing that's the voice in my head it takes whatever I'm doing whatever I get done in a day it sets that as the bare minimum bar and then it says you don't want to just achieve the minimum you want to overachieve however that model is all fucked up because the minimum, whatever work I did was already above the minimum. It was already above the minimum required or, or, or whatever would have been, you know, good. It was that I would, whatever I was doing was already above that. Sorry for the car noise, everybody. I'm driving back to my place. <laughs> but the minute I was already above that. And so then I set this new metric this, this new standard and then have to overachieve that and it's a and it's a losing game and so you know I think I'm always on the hunt for a new more uh, balanced mentality and I think that I had a put together mentality before I kind of got slapped around a little bit uh, in my life you know I had I think I had everything set up in March I was the happiest I'd ever been making the most money I'd ever made 
um, start dating my girlfriend Kira, who is just the most wonderful woman in the entire world. That's she's she. There's just no one better for me uh, than Kira. So I had her, and we had started dating, and I was buying my house. I was closing on that. And then I just got slapped around a little bit. I got shaken around. My dad had a massive stroke and he may never talk again. And he's also a huge pain in the ass to all the nurses. And they call me every day. They say, can you talk to your dad and calm him down? Because he keeps trying to escape the rehab facility. By the way, this man can barely hold anything with his right hand. He can walk, but he can't talk at all. Like he just goes like, like he can mumble, that's it. So he, so he, so he gets up and he keeps trying to escape. And I understand why he wants to escape. He hates hospitals. He hates people taking care of him. And I get that. Honestly, if I were in his position, I would not want to be in, in a rehab facility or a long-term care facility, nursing home, whatever you want to call it. I wouldn't want to be there either. But it's temporary. And uh, he, just needs to, he just needs to chill out and just do the work and get to talking again. Because it's possible he may talk again if he practices this rehab facility anyway so so I get slapped around with that I fly back and forth a couple times to Oregon um, which then that limits the amount of work I can get done I have this new job where things sales aren't quite happening at the speed or meetings and sales aren't happening at the speed that everyone including myself wants or expected I certainly uh, expected to be booking a lot more meetings by now and I certainly expected to make more sales by now. And so there's a lot of pressure by the executives on the sales team, which I understand. And we are looking to make those sales. And trust me, there's no one who wants to make a sale more than a salesman. And it's going to happen. In fact, I think today, today's a really good day and I think something big's gonna happen today, sales-wise. I think it's gonna be good. So we got that, there's mounting pressure. Dad bought the house and so the house is fun, but I gotta work on it. It's way more work than I thought it would be. It's mowing the lawn. It's, it's cleaning, you know, a whole ass house instead of an apartment. You know, it's like, I didn't realize how many serv separate services I was gonna have to pay for, you know? In an apartment, you pay like, there's one fee for pest control, pest control, water, sewer, and trash. That's all in one thing. And it's just like a bill that everyone just splits in the, amongst the entire complex. At your house, you have to have a power, you have to have an account with the power company. You have to have an account with the sewer, or with the water, company. You have to have an account set up with the trash company. You have to have an account set up with the gas company. You have an account set up with the pest control company. <laughs> it's like, oh, and then your Wi-Fi. Dude, it's crazy. It's so much more work. And so that's, and so that's been a lot of work. Um, and then, uh, you know, and then, and then my mom's going through a lot, you know, physically and emotionally right now. She's going through a divorce, you know what I mean? And so she talks about me a lot. And so it's just a lot of shit, man. It's just a lot of shit just slapping me around like a fucking fish. And it really did, you know, it really did knock. No, it did not knock me. It knocked me. I walked into the ring of the boxing ring of life. Now, and fists ready to go. I have my mentality solid. My life was solid. And I go, all right, time to just fucking kill it this next round of my life. And I got rocked. I got fucking Floyd Mayweathered to the Logan Paul face, punched. Just, just knocked at fucking 100 miles an hour, slapped, neat tight, knocked to the ground. Yeah, like, just been stressing my ass off about filling up this house, taking care of the house, figuring out how to do any of that, fixing my own toilet, work, everything. But I think it's better now. I think I'm getting up. I think I'm getting up. And I got hit hard, fell down to a knee, but I'm standing back up. 
because life wants you to get back up and it rewards you when you get back up and sometimes life <laughs> smacks you so that you can become stronger so that you can be stronger for others and do more for this world I have a sneaking suspicion that what I'm going through currently is a crucible. I have a sneaking suspicion that my mentality was gold ore. It was metal mixed with the earth. And what you have to do with ore is you either run it through a chemical bath in order to extract the metal from the rock or you superheat it. You superheat it and you burn out all of the non-metal. You're burning out all of the non-gold. And you distill it so that you have pure gold. I have a sneaking suspicion that that's what I'm in right now. I'm in the crucible. Life put me in a crucible and said, hey man, you're doing pretty good. And you want to do a little better. Well, you got to put in the work. You got to jump in this crucible and you got to get slapped around a little bit because that's the cost. That's the real cost of wanting to do something better, making more money, generating better relationships, gaining better assets like a house, getting a better life like living in a neighborhood. It said, you got to go through some shit. And I think that's what's happening. And, and uh, you know what? <clears throat> I've been moving through it and I'm ready for it. I'm starting to get back up, man. I'm starting to get back up. I'm feeling happier. It's the best I've felt in a long time. I'm feeling the zest, I'm feeling the energy and I'm ready to just put it off and give it to everybody right now. So um, that's what I wanna do for you guys too. Anyway, that's that's been my Reno rant. My happy, happy Reno rant for the, for the morning. Oops. And uh, that's all, that's all ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for listening, and I hope you have a fantastic day. I think everything's going to go right for you today. I think that whatever your job is going to go well. I think your your conversations you have with the people you care about is going to go well. And I think everything's going to go amazing for you. All right. See you guys later.